Flying into Beirut, arrivals land right next to a district you might once have missed. Uzay, which sits on the Mediterranean just outside the capital, is a riot of colour. Brightly coloured buildings stand out against the sea and sky. This is Uzville. But the area wasn't always this way. It was once one of Beirut's most dirty and destitute suburbs. The area had no lights here, no paving on the roads, the garbage was never collected, the bin man never entered our neighborhood, and the garbage was everywhere on the road. The place had been abandoned by the citizens and the government. Creator Ayad Nasser and his team saw that too many areas of their beloved home country had fallen into disrepair and crime since the end of the Civil War. So they decided to do something to bring pride and community back to these neighborhoods, beginning where he was born, Uzai. At first, the locals were afraid. The colors were very strong, red, green, yellow, pink. They didn't like it. They said, we don't want it. At the beginning, nobody helped us. We did it alone. But as the streets brightened with every lick of paint, more street artists, both foreign and local, wanted to get involved. Mural artist Marie Joayoub brings students to paint here from Beirut's elite Académie Libanaise de Beaux-Arts. It's a place they'd never usually visit and would once have feared. This shows the success of the project, kind of erasing the whole idea that the Lebanese have about this area, which is a dangerous area, a place that we would not want to go. You see people painting, that's it. You want to come and have fun with them. <laughs> and it wasn't just professional artists. Every evening and weekend, crowds of local kids and teenagers would grab buckets of paint and brushes to help decorate the once dingy walls and buildings. We brought blue paint and we began to paint the walls over there and we drew, what's it called, over there, the bottle and the fish. Uzai before it was abandoned and now it is renovated. Since the project began, Uzai has been transformed and morale isn't the only thing that's received a boost. The economy is thriving, thanks to visitors wanting to come and see the art, enjoy the restaurants overlooking the beautiful sea views, and even participate in the project. The team believes their formula can work elsewhere. Our objective now, when we finish in all areas of Lebanon, is to go to other places. We'll be happy to expand outside of Lebanon. So far, murals and brightly coloured buildings have popped up in Tripoli, Beirut, Montliban and Sourd in the south. Next stop for these paintbrush-wielding community activists? The world. <laughs>